Hello, everybody, and welcome to week seven of the BFL, our best football league. And we are talking about one of the two primetime games this week. We got the Miami Cyclones, who are going to New Jersey to take on the New Jersey Dragons. Both teams are on a win streak here. Miami has a three-game win streak, while New Jersey has a two-game win streak after having a middling 2-2 two two start. We got some great offenses going on here. Uh, we got uh, Rex Johnson coming back after last week. He uh, did, he had a great game, uh, two touchdowns. I believe he got player of the game last week. And then we have uh, Rashard Murphy coming off of a great week. Five total touchdowns. I believe it was about 300 yards. It was 248 passing yards, 66 rush yards, and four passing touchdowns. What a rushing touchdown he had in uh, just a great game. Uh, this team has one of the best defenses in the league. As you can see, they are number one ranked right now, uh, the Cyclones are, and they're third ranked on pass defense. Meanwhile, uh, the New Jersey Dragons are near the middle of the pack, near the ending of the pack there when it comes to uh, defense, but they are top-notch in offense, uh, sporting the fourth best uh, rushing offense, and the fourth, uh, the tie with the fourth best total offense. Now, the the uh, this might be screwed here because I did play a couple games for Week Seven, but for right now, the uh, the Cyclones uh, haven't really been. Uh, it hasn't really been important about the run game. It's all about the pass uh, coming from this offense, and uh, you could you could uh, see why. BB Cash, um, Matt Nash, um, Damon Parkman. Uh, just great receivers all around. Uh, Antonio Garcia as they tied in. Of course, you have Steve Gross for New Jersey, um, Trey Flanagan, Mike Carroll, who won Offensive Rookie of the Late Year last year. Um, just two great offenses going to battle each other out, man, against a great defense and a good uh, defensive line uh, in New Jersey. So this should be a very evenly match uh, mashup. Uh, if you guys did not see last year's matchup between these two in the playoffs for the uh, to go to the Mega Bowl, um, please, I'm going to have that in the uh, in the description and on the top right corner uh, for you guys viewing. It's an old video, but very, very classic game between these two teams. But let's get into it, man. This is our first game of the week. Here is the four-time champion, Rex Johnson. Young, and there goes Eric Young. About to get a spin move. Young, the ball this is a good game. Could be a good stop here for New Jersey. Third down here, looking for Cash. Got it, and he has the speed to get the first down. Seventy thousand in attendance. Hopping back here to pass, looking. Throws it to Matt Nash in the end zone, and he's got it. Touchdown! What a snipe! Matt Nash, another bomb TD, just like last week. Our formation. The defense can stop them here. Go with the run. And a great stop there by 52. I really thought it was Carpenter, and it was. Good stop there, as you can tell. He says, I'm a brick wall, baby. Good stop. Oh, is it tipped away? And it's fourth down again. You know what I mean? Shotgun. See what they do here. And of course, Murphy just gonna go and slide and get the first down. And that will end the first quarter. Score seven, nothing. Cyclones up. Flanagan. He's got the catch, it was contested, but he got the first down. Quick on the outside again. And let's see if they give him the first down, they do. Ball at the 20. Back here to pass, gives it to Gross. And he gets steamrolled on that play, it's fourth down. Swain, one of the leaders in field goals this year. And he kicks it through. Cash on the outside. Up and back here to pass. Has Young. He's got it. Takes a hit though, but he gets the first down. 
Looking again. Got cash. And there he is, number 22. And he will take a run. At the 40. He's got speed. At the 40. At the 30. He fumbled the ball. And it will be picked up by Phil Quick. And they call a timeout for Rashard Murphy. It will not count. Looking back here. And he will just take another run. And he will go out of bounds. That will count, though. Moves Carroll to the slot here. First and 10 at the 16. Action fake here. Looking. Throws it to Carroll. He's got it over Siegel. Murphy. Looking. To Parker. He's got it. Touchdown. Wilder's injured there after tackling Murphy. He is a big guy after all. Six for five. But that is a touchdown. And it will be... 10 to 7 after the extra point. Action fake. Goes it to Garcia. Wow, and over a sea of hands, he gets the catch. Garcia makes the reception. Holy moly. Drop back. Nash. Got the catch. Drop it back here. Looking. Throws it. To BB Cash, and he gets in. Touchdown. And that is his ninth touchdown of the year. And in motion is gross. Well, is it to Flanagan? He's got it! Wow! And he just put them in field goal range. Holy! Just dropping back, waiting. Got time, throws it, and then there's Flanagan with the catch. What can do here? Goes here, looking, throws a deep ball. He just caught a one-handed grab with two seconds left. Wow! Can we see it again? One-handed Steve Gross. Oh, what a catch! So, Swain. We'll knock this one in, and they'll go to halftime, only down by one. The first half, the score is the away team, 14. Up and back here. Throws it to Parkman. He slides to get it. Can he get back up? No. He's just short, and Rex Johnson hurt his chest. Hopefully, he's okay. Knock it. And a beautiful kick there. It's again. It's in and it's good. Oh, and a great sack there by number 94. I believe that was Glass. And it was a big sack there and a six-yard loss. One of the best defenses in the league. High snap. Looking. Throws it to Flanagan. Oh, what a catch! Flanagan with the receiver. Throws it here, a contested one, but Gross has it! Another deep bomb on third down. We'll go here in the third quarter, late here in the third. Looking to Hughes. He's got it, touchdown. The fullback gets a TD and take the lead. Dragons fans revved up now. Comes Dutton. Dutton will try to get down the field. And he fumbled it. Walker can't pick it up. And it's getting to Davis. No way. <laughs> he just fumbled that ball. New Jersey will have the ball back. They will go five and two and have a three-game win streak off their back. It's Murphy. Okay. Gonna roll off. And he's gonna slide before he fumbles again. Throws it high. And it's caught by Mike Carroll for a TD. Amazing job there by Rashard Murphy. New Jersey trying to apply the pressure here. The action here. Wow, Matt Nash. He's wide open. And he dropped it. Oh, my God. That was a touchdown in a half. Listen to Nash again. He trusts his man. 
action fake again here. Throws a deep ball. He's looking for BB Cash. And he's got him at the one. Oh, he was looking for King. He was looking for Garcia. Second and goal here. Action fake. Looking. Goes it to Riley. Does he get into the end zone? They say not. Here we go. Third and goal. Big hog mollies all over the field. You know what they're going to do. Third and goal. They give it to King. And he gets stopped at the line. Here we go. Fourth and goal. They're going to go for it here. Here we go. At the one. Last try. They're going to go with the toss play. And he gets stopped number 92 with such grace, such power. Stops him. He even blows a block right there to get him. Oh, with the blitz here. Throws it to Carroll. He's got it. Breaking a tackle. And they'll get close to the 30. Throws it to Barker. And he's got it at the 50. And he will go down. And now they will have to start calling timeouts. We're back here to pass, actually. Throws it to Hughes. Hughes might have it. And he does. Wow. And the defense will have to call a final timeout. Then he throws it across the body. Hughes had it laying. He caught it. Got his feet in. That's a first down. And Nystrom will not let him have that one. Bad, the game is over. The score 27 17. New Jersey beats Miami by 10. So here we are. I play at a game, a 135.1 rating. Rashard Murphy, one of the most efficient quarterbacks in BFL history. 306 passing yards, three touchdowns, 19 of 29 with a 65% completion percentage. And we cannot forget about his 90 yards that he had. One fumble, it probably would have been over if it was uh, if that fumble didn't occur. Um, 90 yards though, out of seven attempts. Mike Carroll, four receptions, 46 yards in a TD. Rodney Partner, Parker, uh, the same, four receptions, 46 yards in a TD. And Jose Hughes with a TD himself. Just sharing the love all around. Trey Flanagan and Steve Gross. Steve Gross with those deep balls. The Mark Carpenter, two tackles for loss. He was definitely a star ward on that defensive front. I don't believe they got any sacks. They did not. The two tackles for loss for Carpenter. Here we have Rex Johnson, 235 yards, two TDs. Uh, he had a great game as well, a 139 rating for him. But he just couldn't get the ball because um, New Jersey was just hogging the ball too much. You know, it was just a very, very much uh, time of possession type game. BB Cash, a threatening man as well. 95 yards, six receptions in TD. Matt Nash with that bomb TD earlier today. Three receptions, 82 yards, and not a lot else going on because, of course, uh, the time of possession was just on New Jersey side. But that's the game here. New Jersey goes to 5-2 and two on the season and drops uh, the Cyclones with them. Just to get ahead of those standings, I believe they would be a second or third in the standings now. Um, just an amazing game. And we got another primetime game for you guys. We got the Golden Owls taking on the defending uh, second place team. The Boston Revolution, who are five and one, trying to go six and one to round off the half of the season. Hope to see you guys there on that one. Um, I hope you guys liked my video last uh, last week with week six. I uh, hope you liked and subscribe on that, and I hope you like and subscribe on this video. So we'll see you guys in the next primetime video.